I see this uh, trial um, and the verdict as a travesty of justice and as politically motivated. I believe that my verdict is purely political and it's not based on law and evidence. I am a journalist who is independent. I refused so many abitures to work for um, government, secret service, um, police, to snitch on my fellow uh, journalists. If you are a professional and you want to maintain your independence and uh, be impartial, then you have a problem. Because this country doesn't allow anyone to be independent. I was altogether 14 and a half months uh, in prison and throughout that time I was denied access to my case files. I didn't know what were the charges, I mean the, the particular charges. I was deprived uh, of any defence in the pre-trial proceedings and the prosecutor would not um, speak to me, she would not uh, give me any evidence um, to which I could uh, reply. Uh, she only offered me to sign a false um, confession uh, in order to get released. I said that I had nothing to uh, confess. I want to answer the accusations, but uh, the prosecution w wasn't interested at all. When it came, uh, when it came to uh, our turn to propose evidence, almost everything was rejected as being irrelevant to the case. I mean, first-hand witnesses, um, my emails, uh, uh, my videos, and everything that was all irrelevant to the court. Uh, that I find shocking. I think this is an ominous um, sign. Um, it's a bad omen for the freedom of the press in Montenegro. And that's a clear message that uh, journalists in Montenegro cannot rely on the legal system of this country. And I'm afraid that uh, unless the international community uh, comes to um, our rescue, that things will progress from bad to worse.